so i was telling you that we cannot use lead uh, for preparing the metal with the, from the dilute acid the reason being when lead is used with hcl and h2so4 so it definitely reacts with them right but what happens when it reacts with hcl it leads to the formation of lead chloride and when it reacts with sulfuric acid it leads to the formation of pbso4 that is lead sulfate so what happens where, where is the problem that we cannot use lead the problem is here that it though it reacts with the hydrochloric acid to form chloride and though it reacts with the again the sulfuric acid to form sulfide sorry sulfate but the but the what is the limitation is that then when when it form the lead chloride and lead sulfate it just start forming the thin covering on the surface of the lead so what happens the only the surface one is being converted into the lead chloride and the hydrogen but the rest of the lead remain unreacted but we need a good amount of hydrogen gas right so what do we have so that means that we cannot use lead because in lead only the surface is reacting and after that it is just forming the layer which is just uh, do not allowing the you can say the lead from reacting so that means most of the red uh, lead remain uh, unreacted reacted so that means the lead cannot be used so two important points you need to remember hno3 can't be used because it is a strong oxidizing agent so instead of h2 if we'll be using hno3 instead of h2 we'll be getting h2o and moreover the lead is not used the reason being because it forms a covering of lead chloride and lead sulfate right and moreover we can cannot use the potassium sodium calcium as well the reason being the reaction can will uh, lead to an explosion right so this is the second method which i have told you that is the reaction of metal with the dilute acid so the third method is the easy one because you you have already um, familiar with the first two methods so third method is not a big deal so what is that i'm just writing for you so the third method is that the reaction of metal with bases so like for example i'm taking an example of aluminium so it's in the same way we are no uh, we uh, this thing uh, when we are reacting with them we are not using these elements the same reason being the reaction is exothermic in in three of the preparations we are not using potassium sodium and calcium in three of them the reason being it is an exothermic reaction and instead of getting h2 the or you can say the h2 which gets liberated just catches fire which leads to an explosion so uh, uh, we can take the metals uh, below uh, the uh, the metals which will occur below in the reactivity series like starting from the magnesium right so the third metal i am taking an example that is the aluminium i am reacting it with the base so when metal react with the base what it forms it is going to form sodium aluminate and along with it obviously we are going to get a desired product for which we are doing all these reactions that is the h2 and moreover similarly the zinc when zinc reacts with noh what it forms it forms sodium zincate again our desired product h2 right so likewise we can react the metal with bases and we'll be getting the different salts that is the sodium aluminate sodium zincate and along with that we are getting the desired product one thing must be flashing in your mind that when i have written the sodium aluminate i haven't written this two and in this case i have written this two so don't get confused don't get uh, don't ever get confused with two three four in used in the chemical formula it is just the matter of the valency i told you in many lectures just uh, don't be uh, Uh, afraid of chemical formulas just learn the valency they will act as a tool and you will just get through uh, the chemistry very well right so this is how we uh, we have discussed that the three general methods for preparing the hydrogen that is the reaction of metals with the water no matter the some metals reacts with the boiling water some with the cold water and some with the steam and second second is metal with dilute acids the acids strictly is to be dilute acids and do not use hno3 i am telling you again and again it is an important question which you often get that the hno3 why the hno3 is not used and the third one is the reaction of metal with the bases so just keep in mind just uh, go through the valencies and you you can easily write uh, these chemical reactions